bet you're probably wondering to yourself, you know, the the title or the the name of the account. It looks kind of familiar. The car looks kind of familiar, but this is not the same. You know, I I didn't just I didn't just slam some pre workout and I'm headed to the gym. I didn't just uh, pack my Dextro shake and getting ready to, to to do a slam at the end of the at the end of the video. I actually filmed this. I filmed all of the golf yesterday, and I forgot to to do an intro for this. So I thought I would. I'm driving back to school right now, so I thought I'd do a little intro. This is Mark Sulik's channel, not Sam Sulik's. Similar, not the same, but uh, it was pretty fun. You know, golf video incoming, possibly more to come. Only thing I would uh, I would say to be ready for is the microphone quality, not great with all the wind blowing on the golf course and everything. It was fine, like you can hear what I'm saying, but a microphone is gonna be needed pretty, pretty badly. Uh, also, at the end of the video, hole 18 gets cut out, my fucking phone died, and then, like, the last, like, 17, kind of 16, is, I'm um, my brightness on my phone is all the way down, trying to extend, like, the, the life of my battery, so it, fuck, I fucked a few of the camera shots up, but, first video ever, like, what do you expect, me to be perfect? No. They'll only get better from here, so I'll probably just cut right into hole one and uh you can watch me play nine holes at at north star so let's get right into it fucking down the path and all the way over so all right so way back here that's where we we're hitting from that's I can't see it there you go that's where we ended up so not bad par five goes way down there kind of up and up and to the left 250 I'm just gonna hit a two iron and see where it goes just aiming like out to the left of that rock Be right over the pin. <laughs> All right, right out of the gate. Right out of the freaking gate. Good look for Eagle. Let's fucking knock that in. Rolling pretty, not not bad. Knock in birdie. Good start. Cool. Good freaking start. North Star's got this tee box way back, but we're headed out there, and then the hole kind of goes down to the left. That's that's 13, or that's 12. I guess I must have drew it into the shit. I honestly couldn't see it come down. Whatever. Just gonna drop, hit this up there, hopefully make the putt. If not, bogey, whatever. It's gonna happen. Let's try short. Oh, barely got there. 
Jesus. Rarely going to be upset about. All right. Birdie bogey start. Not going to be super upset about that because I hit a drive into the hazard over there. But, you know, it's just going to happen. That's why, you know, you got to birdie the par fives and just set yourself up to, you know, open up a few mistakes. You know, no, no round is going to be perfect where you just or hardly it's going to be perfect where you don't make any bogeys. So I'm not upset about that. I'm still even. And I know I'm going to make plenty of birdies coming soon. So. Perfect. All right. Yet another good two iron. I honestly think this two iron is one of my best clubs in my bag. I hit it pretty far, especially off the tee. I can hit it, you know, if there's a long par five, that's usually what I hit into the green, like today. And it goes, you know, like I said, it goes far off the tee. Better than, I really don't use my three wood that much off the tee, just because it goes, you know, not that much less than my driver. And then at that point I would just hit driver. But a hundred yards, you can see this tiny green, very narrow, everything's feeding to the right. So I'm just gonna try and hit this just left of the pin. Should kind of jump and spin a little right, hundred yards. Left of the pin, a little long. Eh. We're on the green, that's what matters. Yep, just landed this a little far. Should have, you know, an interesting putt coming back. I like the D, I think it's D2 or D3 state championships. It was so fucking fast that kids were just four putting left and right. Like, I, I, I don't know where the pin was, like up there, but they fucked the green so bad that they, uh, it got, a, it was on Golf Digest at some point, like a few years ago. If you guys ever saw that, it was unreal. Putting it up and then roll down, putting it up and roll down. I mean, after you see this putt, you'll, you'll kind of get a feel for the slope again. But I'm just trying to really lag this and just get a two putt and get out. Or make it, yeah. Or make it, yeah, that's fine too. Pretty good. But you saw how much that curved. It just started curving and then falling down the hill. Back to one under. Just, just how I said it would be. All right, this is the joint tee box with 11. But now we're going out this way. Pretty much gonna hit driver, just kinda shoot it between those kinda two big trees. Regarding last hole, you're gonna get some of those putts just in your round, especially if you're rolling it good, you know, you know how to read a putt. They'll fall, I mean. Part four, a little dog leg left. Just kinda shoot it right through those trees. Tough driver hole. Good miss, right down. I think mean, it took a good kick too, right down the center. Perfect. Good drive here, right into the fairway. Probably have about, let's see, 140? 127. 127 in. I mean, straight ahead wedge shot, it's a little downhill. 
it's not super hard out. So this ball isn't really gonna, this ball should kind of sit and stop. There's someone driving up on their cart right now. A little left. Not as close as we'd want, but that's not gonna hurt anything. If I had to guess, it's gonna move a little left, my left. Not too much, just gonna play for like the right edge-ish. Barely. Hit it a little harder, that'd go in. Easy par. Straightforward par four here. It's like four, God, I don't even know how long. It's a long way though, it, like it looks like a par five. It's gotta be like 460, 470, you know. Short par five range, but when you hit it this far, it doesn't fucking matter. We're just hitting good misses after good misses. The, the no warm up is really catching up to me. <laughs> All right, drive. Drive ended up being fine. Just kind of a heely, heel fade smackdown. We're kind of the last two, but they're working out. Luckily, the fairways here are fucking huge. So. Like I said, about 173 to a back pin. Probably just a full, full nine iron because you gotta think about it this way. When the pin is way in the back there and there's kind of a downslope to kind of rough, I'd never want to hit it past the pin fucking ever. So if I just hit this nine iron, you know, the max I can hit this is maybe 165 right now. And I have like what 170, 173. So I'm full aware this is just going to go to the middle of the green. And you know if I if I hit it extra good, it'll get back there, and I'll be fine. I I just never want to take long into play here to be past the screen ever. Cause that shit'll add up. Probably short, middle of the green. Just just like I said I wanted to do, you know. A little bit short of the middle, but I mean I'm putting at it and you guys can't see it, but right down there there's this fat down slope. And you know, it's just not where you want to be. All right, easy four, easy four. All right, par three, 145. You know, this is where, <clears throat> this is where I had my first hole in one earlier in the summer. So I freaking love this hole. And to, uh, to get another one right here would be sweet. shorted it. Wow. That's right. All right. Ball fucking buried. Let's set this up. It's in that thick shit, but it should be pretty simple chip.
straightforward putt. Just knock in a par. It's kind of weird there. It kind of just rode up the face. I'm mad at that, that chip, but saved a par. Really makes, makes this hole a lot easier. Have shit on the right and the left. I mean, really, all you can do is hit the fairway. Finally, a good drive. That's pretty perfect. Should be perfect. Let's see Andrew Eubanks hit that fucking drive. I mean, honestly, what the fuck? Fucking bomb. <laughs> all right. Finally. I mean, I hit on this hole all the time. I fucking hit it bad, so I'm really relieved that. Finally got a good one out here. There's a dude on the green right now. You can kind of see the sliver of the green right over there. It's about 235-ish to the middle. So we're just waiting for this guy to get off. Probably just hit a four iron up there. But while we wait, let's talk about someone, I mean, you guys obviously probably know, Sam. So Sam's my brother. He's two years older than me like just under two years. And obviously, I mean, he just hit a fucking million followers. Like, holy fuck. Million followers, a million subscribers. It's absurd. Like, everywhere I go kind of now, it's like, I'm the, I'm Sam's little brother. Which, it's fine. It's pretty cool. I'm more than happy for him. I, I was the fucking one who told him to start making these videos. You know, he had a crazy physique before. I was like, dude, like, you gotta fucking make some content. Like, why are you not making content yet? And he's like, eh, you know, maybe, da, da 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 For like a whole year, I tried to tell him to start making stuff. So when he finally did, I was like, holy shit, like, oh, really? Like, you're gonna start, you're gonna start content? And this is one of the fucking funniest stories that I like to say about it, is I, I, have a, I had a roommate back at college when and like he knew, like I said, like, yeah, my brother is like this bodybuilder guy. And I finally told him when he started making YouTube videos, um, I said, hey, Drew, like, you know, check this. Like my brother is starting a YouTube channel. And he's like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, okay, like, sure. Like, you know, and like anyone else will start a YouTube channel. And then I come back from this summer where he grew like crazy and I see Drew and I'm like, Drew, you remember when I fucking told you, oh, my brother's making YouTube videos and like, oh, you know, cool. I mean, he fucking blew up and Drew was like, yeah, you know, fuck, it's fucking crazy. So like all my friends at school, like we talk about it. So why not start some fucking golf videos? You know, it's cool. It's fun. I feel like golf is, you know, just as popular. And I don't know what videos I'll do. I definitely want to make some more of these. Just, uh. You know, they're fun. I don't know. Maybe do some lifting, obviously. I fucking gotta get my ass on the bulk, as you guys can maybe tell. I need to get a little bigger. I, uh, you know, with all the golf, it's fucking hard to lift. It's hard to be, like, you can't be fucking huge, bulky. Like, you guys have seen Sam swing, it's terrible. And I definitely like the golf more. It is, I mean, it, golf is the freaking best. Always fun to play. You know, I see golf similar to training, almost. Like, it's fun. Like, you have different aspects of your game to, you know, get better. Just, like, different muscle groups. I I love it. So, but anyway, this guy's been off the green for a fucking while. Let's, let's hit this four iron up there and make a fucking birdie. But that was my spiel about Sam.
was a little right, but that should still catch the green. I'll be very surprised if that's not on the green. All right, you know, just right on the back. That fucking went far. Holy fuck. This, can't even see it. Can't even fucking tell. Yeah. That shot went pretty far. You know, I completely flushed a four iron. And I don't know. I didn't want to hit five. I didn't want to be short too much, but I guess whatever. We have a putt at it. I mean, two putt birdie. This is really tough, though. Kind of got to throw it up and over that slope. But we'll see how this goes. Just trying to lag it up there. Should be good. Should be really good. All right, I mean, that just burned the edge. Totally happy with that. So, from way back there to have a two-footer after that, more than happy. That feels like hitting just as good as, uh, that's like just as good as hitting like a long chip pretty close. Very happy with that. Two under. All right, gotta get these next clip, these next two holes in quick because my phone's at 5%. But like 180, back pin, gonna hit a seven iron. Just smooth seven. on the middle of the green. Or go fucking long. Alright, well, I did what I told you guys not to do. 7 iron from 180. The wind was breezing, but I knew this could go too far. I was just getting greedy. So now I gotta take the medicine, hopefully scramble something. Hit a good chip here, but that, that was just a bad bad decision. Should have hit 8 iron. Yeah, I mean, I'm not getting much better than that. Fairly straightforward putt here. Shouldn't be moving a whole lot, but you know, I never want to have these putts. I never want to have you know, outside 10 feet for par. And that was all because I hit a 7-iron, not an 8-iron. But this, this is still makeable. You know, poor effort there, but I deserved a bogey. So, that's just where you get into the stuff. Shouldn't have even been playing for this back pin. Bogey. All right, on hole 18, dog leg right. There's a ton of shit on the right, so obviously we're going to be avoiding that. Just trying to shoot something out to that, like, that little tree out there, kind of between that tree and the and the left bunker. Any fairway is good here, which usually the two iron is perfect for that. Little left. All right, leaving the course now. I mean, I'm I'm my phone phone fucking died right after I hit that shot on 17, but hit it a little bit left. It ended up being fine. Just kind of knocked a, knocked a shot up there, ran it up the green, two putt par. One under, you know, really, we didn't make a lot of mistakes today, except, you know, a drive into the hazard, which, you know, whatever. I, I, I honestly thought it was fine. And then the shot on 17, hitting it long. That's just something, you know, course management. I, just as I said, like a hole before, I never want to 
take long into play there with that pin being in the back. So I don't know, just, I mean, two, two things that cost you two strokes. If I just hit that in the middle of the green, I'm gonna make par all the time. So, but one under, I mean, I'm more than happy with under par. We made a good up and down on 15. Yeah, good up and down on 15. You know, I putted it well. But those two things, like just, when you wanna get really good at, at playing golf, I mean, it is those little things. That just cost me from shooting 35 to shooting 33. But I'm very happy still, you know, but you can always get better. That's, that's what I love about it. I could do everything right and still have just more things that I could, you know, always get better at. But, uh, you know, I mean, I'm about out of gas, so I gotta go get some gas. I'm gonna stop at Meyer and make a steak tonight. I don't know if, if you guys are true followers on the TikTok or even the Instagram. You guys know I love the friggin' steak. You know, Sam likes the steak, but uh, it's always fun making it, whatever. You know, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, some of the camera, <laughs> I mean, I was just looking at a few clips and the camera angles weren't great. I had to turn my brightness down so my phone would stay alive longer. But whatever, I'll, I'll get better at that. You know, I played at home this time, but our course when I'm at college is friggin' it's great. But yeah, just, you know, I want to know what you guys think about these videos. If you want to see lifting weights, like, I mean, obviously, I'm gonna have to go down and lift some weights with Sam here soon, or get Sam out to the golf course. That would be, that would be friggin' funny. But uh, now, you know, I gotta get gas, my phone's charging, and I'm headed back to school tomorrow. So, we'll see when the next video comes, I'm not sure. I enjoyed making this, and that's a wrap.